<laughs> Hello, my name is Matt Kale, and on behalf of expertvillage.com, I'm here to talk about spiderweb decorations. Now we're going to take what we did uh, previously, and now this becomes largely an exercise in repetition, but there are some additional tips to keep in mind. Now that this uh, initial strand is largely stretched out and we have already a nice web effect going on, we're going to introduce a second strand. And usually try to pick an area which is already uh, largely a bare wall, a gap if you will, and start there. So I'm starting there, and then I'm going to stretch across just like last time. Your webbing doesn't always have to be perfectly taut, especially if you want a lot of stretching. So like an example, this is very thick. This is a lot of material that you can use. But you can even stretch it both ways, like so. And there you go. And when you're able to do this, you're able to save a lot of time. And don't worry if the ends actually do come off occasionally. It's going to happen. You're, I mean, you're pulling on them after all. Just take it back over and re-adhere it to around the same place it'll be, and you'll be just fine. Now keep doing this down the rest of your wall, as far as you want to go. Try to get decent coverage. Um, you, the, the thing of it is, is, you don't want the tape to be too obvious. You want some strands to be in front of it. And after a couple strands, you'll notice that the tape will start to disappear. For example, I mean, this one already here is starting to get more faint. And you just keep with that in mind. And you keep going down the rest of your wall, or as far as you want to go. It's going to be your party, after all.